Hey guys, on this episode of Camp Outside, we're going to take a look at sites 255, 256, 257, 258, and 259 at Chain Lake State Park in Albion, Indiana. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Camp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Welcome to my campsite review series for Chain of Lake State Park in Albion, Indiana. What a fantastic place to camp and explore. If you haven't seen our campground overview video, check that out. I'm going to put a link right up here and one down in the description below. Guys, this is an amazing place, so let's get right into the campsite review videos. Chain of Lake State Park is located just northwest of Fort Wayne in Albion, Indiana. It's easily accessed by Chicago and all its suburbs. Lafayette, Indianapolis, Dayton, Ohio, and Southern Michigan. Chain Lake State Park is a paddler's dream with lots of lakes connected by canals. Great for boating and fishing and paddling. It also has a great system of hiking trails and the campground is absolutely enormous with lots of sites, a very large play field in the center for kids to play. Just a really nice campground. The restroom facility nearest the sites we're going to take a look at today is indicated by the red arrow. It's a full service restroom facility with running water, hot showers, and flush toilets. There's also a pit toilet close to the sites we're going to look at today, pit toilet number two. Pit toilets do not have running water, but they do have hand sanitizer typically, and they're also close to water spigots for hand washing. The first site we're going to take a look at today is site number 255. 255 is a back-end site, and it's indicated by the red arrow. We'll take a look at campsite 255 from the road. And you'll notice this campsite is at an intersection, which offers a little more space than your typical interior sites. There's the restroom up the way a little bit. So this site sits pretty level. It's gravel. There's the electric hookup. There's no water or sewer hookup in the campgrounds, but there are water fill stations and dump stations in the campground to service your RV or travel trailer. There are also water spigots around the campground to uh, fill water bottles. This site is equipped with a picnic table and a fire pit with grill grate and plenty of places to pitch a tent or a screen house. The next site we're going to take a look at is Site 256. 256 is a back-end site. So here's a look at 256 from the road. There's some nice trees in this part of the campground to give you a little bit of shade. There's a the restroom up the way there. The site sits pretty level. There's the electric hookup. And the site is equipped with a fire pit with grill grate and a picnic table. As you can see though, the site is pretty close to its neighbors, especially the neighbors to the right and directly behind the site. Not a whole lot of space in this part of the campground. Okay, the next site we're going to look at is 257. 257 is a back-in site. I should remind folks that traffic travels in both directions on these campground roads. So if you have little ones, make sure they look both ways before crossing the street. And when you're driving, be sure to look out for pedestrians and bicyclists, especially on weekends when the campground is really busy. So as you can see, this campsite is pretty open, not a whole lot of shade, pretty close to neighbors. There's the electric hookup. The site will have a picnic table and a fire pit with grill grate. And 
enough grassy area to pitch a tent or a screen house, but not a very large campsite. The next site we're going to take a look at is 258. Like all the sites in this video, this site is a back-end site. So here's a look at 258 from the road. There's the restroom up the way a little bit. So none of the sites in this video are terribly deep. So if you have a long travel trailer, you might have to get a little creative with your parking. There's a little bit of sh trees at the back of the site to offer some shade. There's the electric hookup. The site is equipped with a picnic table and a fire pit with grill grate. Not a very large site. And the last site we're going to review in this video is site 259. And 259 is another back end site, and it's indicated by the red arrow. So here's a look at 259 from the road. Site sits mostly level. The site is in full sun. Keep that in mind in the summertime as it can get quite hot. The site isn't very deep. There's the electric hookup. There's a water spigot directly behind the site, which is nice. And this site has a picnic table and a fire pit with grill grate. That's a look at site 259 and the sites in this video. Well, I hope you found those campsite reviews useful. We do this everywhere we camp to make it easier for you to select the site when you're going camping, and we want you to have an amazing time at Channel Lake State Park. Guys, I want to thank my sponsors for this video, Mount Comfort RV. Mount Comfort RV is an RV dealer and service center just east of Indianapolis. Guys, if you need an RV, a travel trailer, a camper, a pop-up, a fifth wheel, whatever you need, guys, go see my friends at Mount Comfort RV. Tell them Camp Outside sent you. Guys, they also have a service department, a parts department, and a rental fleet. So if you are thinking about getting into RVing or getting a travel trailer and you're not totally sure, go see my friends at Mount Comfort, rent one of their RVs, and take a trip and see if RVing is right for you. Mount Comfort RV, thanks so much for being such amazing sponsors of Kemp Outside, and thanks for providing the RV for us to do our Indiana summer tour. So guys, Channel Lake State Park was stop two in our six state park Indiana summer tour. So if you want this kind of content for six different state parks in Indiana, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos, and hit that thumbs up button on this video. So Camp Outside exists to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. So we want to help you get you and your kids outside. If you have any questions about Chain of Lakes or camping in general or just getting outside, drop something in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Or you can connect with us on our other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. Also check out our Let's Go Camping TV show produced by Mount Comfort RV. It's a fantastic 30-minute TV show focused on all kinds of camping in and around Indiana. We also do gear giveaways here on Kemp Outside, so make sure that you are following us on Facebook. And also watch this video right up here to learn how we do our gear giveaways. So guys, we normally produce videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time right here on YouTube. But guys, we have so many campsites from this Indiana summer trip as well as some of the other trips that we're taking that we are now bringing you the Chain of Lakes videos on Fridays. Guys, thanks for watching Kemp Outside. I hope you found it useful. We will see you at the campground, on the trail, or at the boat ramp. See you next time.